Hello and welcome to day 47 of the Mindfulness Challenge. Um, good afternoon, good morning, good day, wherever you are. Thank you for joining me on day 47. Day 47, we're going to be looking at the power of letting go, the power of forgiving, the power of acceptance. And I struggled a lot with this for many years because I didn't truly understand um, what acceptance was. How can I accept things? Um, I can't accept something if it's wrong or I can't accept something if somebody's done something to hurt me. I can't accept these things. The form's resentment allows me not to be able to let things go. The word resentment, I don't know whether you understand this, maybe you do or maybe you don't, maybe you're far more intelligent than myself, but it comes from Latin and its original meaning was to feel again. So we all deal with resentments, holding on to harm that's caused us issues in the past. So if you resent something, you're going to feel it again. And the ability to let things go, an ability to forgive and have some form of acceptance is key to our happiness. Acceptance is a key to our happiness. I was saying something to somebody the other day. Um, my wife um, wants to drive the car. We were going out to get some essential shopping. I'm not a big fan of being a passenger. But I'd done my mindfulness for the day and acceptance was one of the things that I was trying to practice and grow. She said, I'll drive. And I was like, but I and I stopped and I accepted it and we went shopping and come home but what I could have done I could have said why do you always want to drive why don't you let me drive I want to drive not you I want I'm I'm driving no you're not driving I'm driving no you're not I'm driving oh, oh blah, 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 blah. okay that wouldn't have created happiness in any way shape or form suppose I got to accept the fact she doesn't like me as well as probably but um, that'll probably bring happiness for her and maybe for me but there we go only joking um I think you know what we want to do is is allow um, us to understand that we we hold on and feel this pain you know of resentment or issues or, or the power of letting go repeatedly and sometimes these resentments feel, may feel like they offer us um, security you know, from future harm, but forgiveness can really free up the space in our hearts to allow us to love and take care of ourselves. And the practice of forgiveness, um, you know, can help you let go of these very painful experiences and, and offer freedom to both your mind, your heart, your body and your soul and stop that resentment. Stop the meaning of to feel it again and practice forgiveness practice letting go practice acceptance and the meditation we're going to do today is all about that it's about the practicing of forgiveness and what i want you to do now is as always i'm going to put a picture up i want you to close your eyes and i want you just to find a, uh, a comfortable posture and and as we always do at this point, just taking a deep breath in and just dropping into your body, inviting gentleness into your body, inviting peace and calm and empathy and compassion into your body from the very beginning of this meditation. And notice any discomfort or tension in your body. And whatever that is, just try and breathe around it, soften around it. And bring your mind to somebody you feel resentful towards, somebody you've, you know, had an issue with. And if you've just started this or it's day one of your mindfulness challenge, choose somebody who hasn't got the strongest amount of resentment in your heart. Start lightly, where it's a little bit easier. And now when you bring that person to mind, notice the harm that was caused when you feel this resentfulness. And I want you to connect with the intention to cultivate an open and loving heart. 
And if there's resistance to this open and loving heart, notice, notice its presence without pushing it away. It takes time for us to truly reopen the heart. So don't force anything. Begin offering phrases of forgiveness, connecting the words as much as you can, as much as you're able to. Say a phrase, slowly finding rhythm in your head. It may be difficult to offer a phrase, which exhale or with other ears exhale, but these are phrases that I would recommend. And when we're breathing in, just say, I forgive you. Or I forgive you as much as I'm able to at this moment. May I let this pain free itself from my heart. But let's be strong. As we breathe and we have that resentment or an issue with somebody, you say to yourself, I forgive you. And may I let this pain be free itself from my heart. Breathing in and breathing out, bringing together or bringing into your mind's eye of your awareness, somebody who has made you feel resentment. And just say, I forgive you. May I let this pain free itself from my heart. I forgive you. May I let this pain free itself from my heart. Again, I forgive you. May I let this pain free itself from my heart. Just keep breathing in and breathing out, bringing this person to mind and saying, I forgive you. May I let this pain free itself from my heart. Just keep running those phrases now, those phrases for a few moments. I forgive you. May I let this pain free itself from my heart. And just remember that although we may feel that we live the perfect spiritual and human existence, turn towards yourself recognising that you too may have caused harm or issues for others. You don't need to engage in the stories or some of the things that boil underneath you for some of the harm you may have caused. Just recognise that you have indeed caused difficulties for others, whether you intended or not, whether you did or didn't. Just recognise. And in this moment, just think back to some of the things you may have done and call to mind a specific person you may have upset or you may have hurt. Intentionally or not intentionally, call to mind this specific person. And as they're in your mind's eye, begin asking for forgiveness from this person using these phrases. I ask for forgiveness for any harm that I've caused you. May you find room in your heart to forgive me. May you forgive one another. I am asked for forgiveness for any harm that I've caused you. May you find room in your heart to forgive me. May you forgive one another. And just sit here and allow any emotions, any shadows to come to the surface. And oh, if they do come, just hold them with loving kindness, accept them, breathe them through and watch them dissolve. I ask for forgiveness for any harm that I've caused you. May you find room in your heart to forgive me. May you forgive one another. Just sit with your body now, breathing in and breathing out.
we know that resentment doesn't serve us, it just makes us feel the pain again. We know that acceptance is the key to unlocking true happiness. And forgiveness of the things that have happened in the past will allow us to be our true selves. Will allow us to connect truly, beautifully with ourselves in a way that allows us to build, to grow and to transform into the spiritual soul that we want to be with clarity and purpose. Just breathing in and just breathing out. Knowing that we can offer forgiveness to ourselves and for forgiveness for others. The power of forgiveness, the power of acceptance. Letting go of resentment so we don't feel it again. And just being able to sit in this beautiful energy of healing and understanding. Breathing in and breathing out. When you're ready, I just want you to take a deep breath in and hold it for two seconds and let go of the breath and come back into the room. So forgiveness is, is key. Resentment, it doesn't serve us. Letting go resentments, forgiving faults. We all deal with resentments, but holding on to them can cause a lot of harm. And just remember, resentment is to feel it again. Why should we feel it again? Why should we keep going around and around in this circle and cycle of, of punishment for ourselves and punishment for others? Well, today, let's stop that on day 47. As always... Put your hand on your heart and say, good morning, I love you, Julian. Good morning, I love you, Julian. Be love and give love. And God willing, I'll see you on day 48. Thank you very much for being with me. Take care. See you soon.